Yo, what is good and welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Bud and today we have another video We will be drafting AFL players that I have played with in real life So just a quick background so you guys do know I have been very lucky growing up to be involved in a, a few Semi-professional football settings if that's what you want to call it So I was lucky enough to play TSE Cup be a part of the Vic Country squads uh, The VFL systems and Sample systems I obviously have learned a lot throughout my footballing journey and along with this, you're obviously going up and playing with and training with elite players, such as current AFL players, ex-AFL players, or even future prospects that are looking to get drafted into the AFL. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. If you are new to the channel and haven't already, please do subscribe. And as well, make sure to leave a like on this video. It does take us time and effort to make and edit these kinds of videos. So I do appreciate all your support, but without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. So here we are, we're in Spin the Wheel, or Wheel of Names, and I've put down everyone's name that is currently still active within the AFL. I've played with a few other players that obviously have been delisted, so um, uh, we're not going to include them, and I've played against a lot more players as well, but we're just going to include the players that I have either trained with or I've actually been on the field and been on their team as a teammate. So um, we've got our list. I think there's about 43 to 44 players on here. We're obviously going to spin the wheel 22 times, draft our team, and then we're going to play with them in AFL 23. So here we go. The first player that is going to be joining our team or our squad is Lachlan Ash. So Lockie Ash, a quality defender. Um, I'm pretty sure he was a bottom major when I was out at Vic Country. So um, I'm pretty sure from memory. So my draft year was 2018. His was 2019. I may be wrong, but that's from memory. But a quality defender in the AFL these days. Our second player that we're going to be adding is... Emerson Jecker, so uh, when I was out at Box Hill, obviously got to train with him, and we got to train with a lot of the Hawthorne boys, so you'll see a lot of Hawthorne names out there, able to use our facilities out at Waverley. A lot of main sessions with these boys as well, which was a cool experience in its own. Player number three, Lloyd Meek, again out at Vic Country. Um, this dude was an absolute massive unit. That's all what I do remember. He's obviously a ruckman these days, but that's a big pickup because now we have our ruck sorted. I was sort of afraid I would, wouldn't get a ruckman for our team, so uh, Lloyd Meek is a good pickup for us. And with our fourth spin, we're going to be adding Dylan Moore. So from the Hawks, yet again through the Box Hill system, uh, this dude was in and out of the Box Hill team a lot, especially when I was there. Um, it's good to see that he's finally solidified a spot in the senior side, but um, Dylan Moore, an absolute gun. With our fifth spin, we're going to add in Cooper Stevens from the looks of it. So yet again, another bloke that's finally joined Hawthorne, but uh, he was out at Geelong for a bit as well. Um, this bloke, he was within the Vic Country system as well and the Vic Country squad. So he probably hasn't been given his opportunity as of yet, but welcome Cooper Stevens to our team. Or next spin, we're going to get another Ruckman. And it's big Jonathan Segler, who was obviously at Box Hill or Hawthorne, and now he's out at Geelong. So another Ruckman. So we've got our two Ruck stocks stacked up, if that makes sense. So uh, Lloyd Meek and now Jonathan Segler. We have Caleb Sarong. I was hoping we got Caleb. Played with him. He was a bottom major when I was top major at Gippy Power. Um, obviously got picked up uh, to Fremantle and has been there since and absolutely dominating out there. And our next spin, we're going to get new recruit to Richmond. And uh, the weekend just gone, unfortunately, did his hamstring. But Jacob Bauer. So I met Jacob out at North Adelaide. He actually come from Sydney um, to North Adelaide as well. I think it was probably about six weeks after we started our first preseason session. Um, so he came a little bit later than the rest of the players. He came as an initial defender. And then um, he, he played a few trial games as a defender. Uh, wasn't too bad and then they played him up forward and that's where he started to dominate and get recognition and then he was lucky enough to get picked up by the Tigers in the mid-season draft. With our next pick, we're going to add Ryan Myers, the Geelong sneaky forward. Yet again, another Vic Country player, Geelong Falcons boy. Um, got to play against him a couple of times as well. He's a pretty good small forward for the Cats as well these days. So, With our next pick, ooh. We might get another Ruckman. Who is it? No, it's Toby Bedford. Vic Country again, but pretty sure he was playing a lot of games out at Casey as well when he was with the Demons, and now he's got his opportunity at the Giants. Another Ruckman, Mark Pitnett. So he was out at Box Hill. He was out at Box Hill. The dude was actually 
taking the piss. I mean, like, he's a ruckman. He was getting 30 touches a game, 50 hitouts, and uh, was very stiff to not be in the senior Hawthorne side week in, week out. But um, obviously, he made the move to Carlton, and it's, it's somewhat worked for him as well. Hayden Young, so the Frio gun, he was a bottom age out at Vic Country again. He's a dandenong boy, so they seem to breed some good footballers out at the Stingrays. We have added Tom Berry. I'm not going to say too much about Tom Berry. He may be a completely different person in this day and age, but um, he kind of got fed through the system a bit. Obviously, his older brother, Gunn, played up at Brisbane. He ended up getting drafted up there, um, but now he's out at Gold Coast. Surely not another Ruckman. We are going to add Ned Reeves. So now it takes our tally to four Rucks. We have four Ruckman. I was worried we weren't going to get one, but now we have four. Played a lot of Box Hill football. You don't realise, obviously he's a tall fella, but you don't sort of realise and put that into perspective until you're standing uh, side by side with him. He just towers over people. He's a gentle giant though, down at heart, and uh, quality bloke on and off the football field. So welcome aboard to Ned Reeves. The Warpedo, James Warple, another Hawthorne player. So we're pretty well just filling up with Hawthorne players here. But Warple through Box Hill system as well. Um, he was in and out of selection a lot. Uh, I got to play against him as well when he was out at Geelong. The dude was basically a man-child, so he just bored his way in TAC Cup footy. We're going to add an ex Box Hill player or Hawthorne listed player, Timmy O'Brien, who's out at the Doggies now. Sammy Flanders from the Gold Coast Suns. So Sammy, uh, he's a local boy from down this way. I was lucky enough to play uh, a lot of footy with him out of Gibby Power. And uh, he was obviously an explosive, a very explosive athlete. He's a handy at basketball as well, but um, hopefully he can really get a solid opportunity out at the Suns. Uh, he loves his 2K as well. But yeah, a good bloke overall and a great addition to our team. And with that 18th spin, rounding out our starting lineup. And then we got obviously four bench. We're going to add Semi DeConing from the Geelong Cats. This guy was very young and raw out at Vic Country. He's always been very dominant in the air. Pretty well the general down there behind Tom Stewart out at the Catteries. Our first interchange player, Leo Connolly. This dude, very, very skillful. Played with him out at power. Uses the footy very, very well. Our second bench player, we are going to add Jai Colwell. I met him in the Vic Country squad system as well. I'm pretty sure he's a Bendigo boy at heart. Um, he got picked up to the Giants, and now he plays for my beloved Dons. We're going to add Latham Vandermeer. So Vanders, uh, met him through Vic Country as well. He's obviously out at the Bulldogs these days. And with our last spin, Sammy Walsh from Geelong Falcon. So a Geelong Falcon boy. Met him and played on him uh, in a few of our trial games and training sessions as well. This dude's always had a tank. And what I mean by that is I remember matching up on him even when we played Geelong Falcons a couple of times. But playing on him and I held my own, to be fair. I played pretty well. But I just remember him having a massive tank in the sense of just running all day. Just trying to meet that threshold with him. I, I come off the ground absolutely spent. Obviously has translated in how big of a tank he actually does have into the AFL. And now we can go across and put our 22 players into AFL. 23. So here we are. We have our best 22 and then myself as a sub. But uh, like I said, we have the interchange in order. Our starting forward line is very tall timber down there. We have Jekka Pitnett and Lloyd Meek as well as Jacob Bauer, Segler, and then small forward pocket rocket Dylan. So it's only probably realistic that we play out a Box Hill City Oval where I spent a lot of my time out there. Uh, and we're going to go up against my beloved Bombers. Here we go, Big Reeves starts us off. Oh, and Reeves gets it back. Can he kick the first goal of the game? On his home deck, he does. Let's go. Semi Flanders, lovely intercept, up to Meek. The big timber, Semi Flanders follows up. Explosive out of the midfield. And he loves a goal and he puts it through for our second. He's put it straight through for the Bombers first. And it's Shield who waltzes in, and he's probably going to put it for the Bombers second. No, he doesn't. Young with the intercept. Well done. He gives it straight back to him. And Guelphie's probably going to put it through. No. Lovely spoil there by Ash. And he comes in. And that's a great kick. No. 
Lovely handball here by the Bombers, and they go forward yet again, and they're probably going to kick a third. They do. On one to Koning should win this. He does. But to who? I think it's Guelphie again. This guy is killing us. Falls to the ground. Brian follows up and kicks it. Out on the full. Tommy Berry. No, because you suck. Oh, my God. And now Draper comes in, and he's going to kick a goal. We've got Pitt, Toe, Net. And this guy, I've seen what he can do at Box Hill. Oh, he sells some candy. Oh, no, he's got no pace. Get rid of it. Kicks it from 60 to the top of the square. Jacob Bauer, one-on-one. Falls to his lap. And I don't know what happened there. Oh, my days. This game. What the hell? Oh, my God. No way. Oh, no. Stringer. Heaps of space there. Yeah, they paid 50. No, what is that? What is going on? Oh, and they've kicked another goal. Leo, don't worry about it. He already kicked four for goal number five, and he's missed. He's missed the easiest one of all. Lovely handball there to Cooper Stevens. Oh, my God. Dylan Shill hacks it out. There's no way. What is going on? What? What is happening? Huh? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you mean? Oh, umpire, you're cheating. You're cheating. You are a cheat. You can't pay that a mark. That is cheating. And then let alone, old mate, no no play on here. No play on, just waltzes in front of goal. If you're still questioning if you want to buy AFL 23, that's your answer. We got no one on the lead. He's on. Oh, out the back. Oh, sh played on. Didn't mean it. He's got around him, it doesn't matter. And he's unloaded and hit the post. Oh no. Oh no, no. Is that 50? Oh, we've given away 50. Yes. Me. It's not an easy kick, but I tell you what, he's made the That is all for today's video. Thank you yet again for coming through. If you haven't already, make sure to go leave a like down below. It legit takes two seconds. And if you are new, please do subscribe. Also, comment down below what challenge or what video, or give me an idea of anything, what you would like to see next. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. You may even get a feature in, a next, in another video if I do go along with it. But that is all. I hope you guys do have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.